Happy New Year, everybody. I uh, hope you had a wonderful break. It's so important for all of us to get away and uh, spend time with family and friends and decompress and get our batteries recharged. And I hope you were able to do all of those things. And hopefully we will have the best semester and the best year uh, yet to come. Right before the holidays, uh, we had a board meeting. It was a great meeting, but one of the things that was presented at the board meeting was one of our strategic plan initiatives that revolves around our language program. Uh, as you know, we want to become the first district in the state of Texas so that all graduates from Alamo Heights are proficient in a second language. Um, so we have a committee of language teachers, and Dr. Dana Beshera led this group over a two-year period. They did a lot of study. They even traveled to Connecticut to visit a school district there uh, and came back with a wonderful plan and design for our district uh, that would allow for our students to learn languages, whether they're an immersion or dual language or not. About 40% of our kids are in those programs, but 60% of our kids aren't, and we want to be able to have a robust program for them. I think the team did a beautiful job of designing a program that includes not only additional staff beginning at the elementary level, but also uh, a, uh, a online kind of, of learning in languages with the Middlebury program. There's a lot that goes on with this. Uh, the price tag is really large. It's about a half million dollars a year. Uh, and it's something that we can't afford right now. Uh, but we are hopeful that with the winning of the Supreme Court decision, which we hope to do uh, this year, and with the legislative uh, session coming in, that we might be able to get there eventually. So I told the committee early on that we didn't have the funding now to do it, but that we wanted to design the program so that when we did have the funds, we could implement that. And so hopefully you'll see that uh, in the next couple of years be implemented in Alamo Heights. It should help all of our students. The next thing I wanted to tell you is that just this week, we invited some of our uh, college freshmen who are Alamo Heights graduates to come back and do an interview with us. You may know that every year at the end of the year, our board and, and administrative team asks for our seniors, about every 13th kid in the graduating class, to do an exit interview with us and tell us what's going well, uh, give us suggestions for how we can improve, and that sort of thing. And from that group, we asked some kids to come back and tell us about their first year of college. And I wish all of y'all could have been there to hear what they had to say, because uh, they were wonderful ambassadors for our district. They felt very, very well prepared academically. They felt like they had a great experience when they were here in Alamo Heights. And they were uh, from a diverse group of academic interests. Uh, we had rocketry. Uh, we had science uh, was a big uh, uh, interest and music. And so it was neat to see the kids in, that, uh, in those arenas. Um, they gave us some good suggestions for things that we might do to help our seniors who are going on to college to have information. Uh, but I want you to know that they had a wonderful uh, representation of what they were prepared to do when they went to college. also wanted to let you know about a, a ranking that came out about school districts uh, nationwide and the state called niche.com. Uh, I'm not always a big fan of rankings, frankly, although we always do pretty well in them. This one seemed to be a little bit more robust, uh, but I want you to know uh, our district was named as the top school district in the San Antonio metropolitan area. Our high school was named as the top high school. Uh, our elementaries were in the, both in the top seven. Our, our middle school, the junior school, was, I think, ranked second. Our, uh, in fact, uh, we were ranked as the eighth best uh, high school in the state of Texas and the tenth best district in the state of Texas. Uh, obviously, those are way too low for us. I think we're number one. But I just wanted you to know those are really neat things. It's a testament, again, to the work that you do. Next, I want to remind you about the Trinity Prize. Uh, we have such great teachers in our district. I hope that you will nominate either yourself or a, a peer uh, to be in the Trinity Prize program. I, it's very important to us, and, and we want to recognize our great teachers. The last thing I want to share with you is uh, our community had a loss uh, in the last week or so. Uh, Pat Patterson, who is a uh, patron in our community, he was a grandparent in our district and a parent in our district, and uh, he was in the Rotary Club in Alamo Heights, and we actually nominated him as a hero for public education in Texas, which he won uh, several years ago. Uh, Pat worked with our Interact Club at the high school and was just a real champion for Alamo Heights ISD. Uh, he passed away. Uh, he was in his 90s, I believe, 
and uh, his funeral is, is this week. And I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Patterson for being a wonderful advocate for this community. It's people like him that make this school district a special place. Thank you for everybody, for everything you do. Have a wonderful 2015, and I'll talk to you again in February. Thank you.